What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Megan Ashley. Be Simone. Breaking, breaking news. Breaking. Our new merch collection drops on July 14th. <sighs> ooh, 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 ooh. And you already know, Patreon gets it 24 hours early. 24 hours early. Not only do they get 24 hours early, but they are getting the entire collection entire, in the full. The every full, single piece. Every single piece. Every single piece won't be available on the 14th. Only every single piece is available on Patreon. On Patreon. So y'all go to Patreon. Go to the know for sure.com you guys it drops on july 14th get excited this new collection y'all gotta Bum. go watch the video because y'all know y'all listening to the audio go watch the video and look at the whole collection it's so dope we're so excited it's our first custom collection. custom collection piece by piece we love you guys love you guys we'll see y'all july 14th patreon we will see you with the whole collection july 13th get excited and go shop love you guys What's up, you guys? I'm B. Simone. And I'm Megan Ashley. And welcome to the Know For Sure podcast, where we talk about healing, growing, evolving, and having the tough conversations. Yes, and we also talk about relationships, not just romantic relationships, but platonic relationships. Like the relationship I have with my best friend, Megan Ashley, of 20 years. 20 years, baby. Yes, baby. Do you know for sure? I think I know for sure, but what I do know for sure is after this episode, you're going to know something for sure. Um, Hey, guys. <laughs> It's your girl, we Simone. And it's May and Ashley. And we are here. Yeah. 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 Can't go that low. <laughs> We're yeah. back. Okay, let's really give it a good. Let's get, ooh, okay, let's go in. A good Like, effort. okay. Up next, we have the presenters here at the 2024 Grammys. B. Simone and Megan Ashley from the Know For Sure podcast. We walk up, and then it's like, we're back. Ooh. Ooh. I rebuke <laughs> thee in the name of Jesus. You will not. <laughs> you will not do that. I won't do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you won't. I'm going to have to start at we're back. <laughs> Ooh. Back. Welcome to the Grammys, you guys. <laughs> This is what y'all don't know is that she will randomly start manifesting things and not warn you. So you She's like, "What? You have to give us a warning. It will happen." Okay. We're back. back. Welcome to the 2024 Grammys, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Megan Ashley. <laughs> and yeah, we deserve to be here. Thank you for this platform. We're supposed to be introducing the female artist of the year, but we are the female artist of the year. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. So why wasn't we nominated is a real question. Why are we presented? It's like you done ruined your whole opportunity off of ego. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Oh, Braylon. Now you up there just mm -hmm. talking. Let her talk. Let her talk. Let her talk. I, oh, you know, and you know that's what I'm gonna do. Let me like, well, I'm glad I got that out. <laughs> Here are the nominees <laughs> for best podcast. What the fuck? Why are we? <laughs> Why the hell are we up there? This is rigged. <laughs> And that's all I got to say about it. <laughs> you knocked my hat off. <laughs> Somebody re reverse that in slow mo. It. <laughs> I gotta see that. <laughs> you Ooh. can't just be saying. You stuff. can't do that. You have to, to get out of your emotions you before get, you walk up on what? the Grammy stage, where I be a Will Smith in it. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. No, seriously, you get to a point where it's like enough You get to enough. a point where I don't give a damn. It's like, okay. It's like I've been in this industry for I don't 30 care. years. He's getting slapped <laughs> right now. So <laughs> I'm walking up. <laughs> Nobody grabbed me. I'm not stopping. Slap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick of it. You Ooh. get to a point where you just become you don't care. You don't care. You, don't care. you have to let it out. We need to go to a break room. I would love to. I would love to. Because I think just breaking glass, that helps, though. Yeah. But sometimes what I do or what, like, I tell Jonah to do mm -hmm. when he's two, mm -hmm. I'm like, go take a pillow and, and scream go in scream in the pillow. Really? Because you just need to release, release that energy. Release. 
and you're and if I grab you, <laughs> and, and if you scream scr- at me, <laughs> you get your ass whooped. So what you need to do is grab that pillow. And you need to work out oh your God. own salvation with no, fear and sure. trembling. For sure. On your own. Because <laughs> if I grab you, <laughs> I'm not going to I'm going to take you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to let go till you pass out. What? Oh, I cannot imagine you being a mom to, sometimes. Sometimes that energy just be stored up and you just need to like. Boxing class. I want to do boxing. I want to do boxing so bad. I feel like I would be good at it. Oh, my God. I went to a fight recently and just seeing that sport is very, um, I don't know. It's wild. I don't like to see people hit yeah. people. It's like, don't hit him. It's like, Fair, you're at a boxing But match. MMA, I could probably Ooh, do back boxing, not but MMA, MMA, I cannot do that. Absolutely. That, not. there's something dark. about. I'm like, <laughs> this is your bare. Your bare knuckles. You're kicking. Have you ever been in a fight? Like a planned one? <laughs> no like, like plan, i'm about like, to pull up on you yeah, where you like at drop pull, your pin yeah, like, no square up <laughs> step in my square it is <laughs> not no not like that i've been in some you never been in a fight fight with men like where you had to fight a girl no nah. me mm-hmm. either because that because i i was always too afraid of myself and my mouth always got me out of everything because mm. people were too afraid to fight me because of my mouth. I was always afraid of them. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't hit me. I am sorry. <laughs> I did not know Johnny was your man. <laughs> Ooh, I cannot. Mm-mm. Please don't hit me. No, because it would take a lot to get me to put my hands on somebody. And like, you would I, do it first. Like, you're not going to let them hit you. No, you would have to put your hands on me. Mm. You would have to put your hands. Unless it was like... Yeah, a hundred percent. I don't think I would ever hit anybody first. No, you would have to put your hands. I on wonder me. what I would do if somebody hit me. <laughs> <laughs> and th- if you have that type of question, it depends you are on where. A punk. <laughs> no, it de- It depends. It depends on where what where you are. Because I because I know you got that in you. You mm. got it in you. If somebody made you mad enough, if you were at that <laughs> point where you're like, all right, okay, I'm pissed. Like, but if I would you probably be like. <laughs> Now the Lord <laughs> loves you. <laughs> you don't have to do this. <laughs> no, I I believe you got it. I can't even imagine fighting someone. I believe you got it in you. If you had to. <laughs> if you at But what is had to fight or run? Had to. I'm fight or flight. I'm a fighter. Yeah. To an extent, I feel like you would put yourself at some type of Ooh. risk if it was for somebody else. Mm. Like if you had the kids or somebody, like oh yeah, I have you were baby. To. If it was Auntie B, and you then were, you would beat my ass. Like you, why did you? <laughs> well, I'm why just, did you fight them? You gonna let them get Jonah? I did my best. Well, Jonah's different situation. <laughs> no, Jonah would fight with me for sure. Mm. Especially Eli would fight with you too. Eli wouldn't let nothing happen. To no, me. Eli got that dog in him, Loki. Eli got that. He's like, that. I don't care. No, Eli does she not did care. That. Da, da, da. Eli does not care. Yeah, he's really nice, he's re- but he and he's really honest. Very honest. Uh-huh. Girls be like, I miss you. He be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like Eli. Girls be like, I like you. Do you like me? He's like, no. no. <laughs> Woo. That's good. That is a great quality. Yeah, but it's like you gotta you could say it say nicely. it nicer. You can't just be like, no, I don't like you. It's me. <sighs> well, don't hit me. Is what I'm saying. No, don't don't put your hands on anybody. But B got that B got a fight in her for sure. If it if it came to that point, I believe you got. I brought that up to my sister. That I was like, you remember when we got in a fight? She don't remember it. <laughs> she doesn't. Mm-mm. That's that the is only. Yeah, I, I bet she blocked that call- out. <laughs> she called the police on me. She did not. She, she called, in Vegas. No, oh, in Dallas. This is another. That's like time. the only okay. altercation, physical altercation we ever got in. No, there was that Vegas. We got into a fight in Vegas. I mean, it wasn't a fight, but you hit her. <laughs> Jesus. You don't remember that? You were there? No, you called me. Y'all had got into it. This is when you were with your ex. Y'all had got into it about something. It was at the light. All I remember is you said you were y'all were in the car and you oh were at the light. Lord. That, no, I remember, but it, oh my <laughs> God. That was bad. Yeah. That was Christmas. That's the only time I knew. I didn't know. No, the, the one dang, I forgot about that. See, I'll be blocking stuff out. 
But yeah, that's what happens. I can if, get there. Yes, you can. I was about to say, I know you can get there. Ooh, but nobody's going to pull that out of you but so your sibling. Much. Your sibling's right. going to pull that out of you. Right. I have, Mackenzie? <laughs> I wanted to take her life away. That's the only time times. I've ever fought yeah. with my sister. And we didn't even fight. <clears throat> I just hit her. She's like, I don't remember that. I'm like, sure you don't. <laughs> I knocked it out, yeah. <laughs> oh, ooh. I had a client. We were at Granny's house. I had a client. I was doing hair. Granny was there. My client was there. She And then she called the police on me. What did y'all get into it about? It was years of buildup. Uh, yeah, but what was the... I think she had on my... my clothes or shirt or something oh. but she was being disrespectful and you i'm like got well, you stuff got on, on my shit yeah you have on my clothes so take and it off before you leave this house since Did you, you want to be rude want to do all that yeah you know and i think it was back and forth but i was doing hair i was doing hair i said okay i walked oh i remember walking in there and kind of, she didn't even hit me back she was just, so shocked she was like, <laughs> He's like, like you i was shocked me. she called the police i don't think they ever came but she was like what 911, my police sister in? assaulted me. Oh my God. I was like, tell well, tell her what you did. <laughs> Why did I assault you? <laughs> Start at the beginning. <laughs> oh, Jordan, I love you. We're so good now. That's my baby. We was just on live yesterday playing around. I don't know. She looks so cute. I can't wait for her to move here. She's so excited to move. She's like, me and Megan are gonna cook. I'm We're gonna make oxtail pasta. <laughs> can't wait. Rasta pasta. Me talk about some can y'all make, make sushi? Something I'm I can like, eat. We want put the oxtails on the side. We always got to put the meat on the side. Everything got to go on the side if I'm eating. But you can mm. eat that pasta, though. Then you be feeding me lobster and pop. Okay, can I just say <laughs> that I know the correct lyric is pasta and lobster, uh -huh. but I would like to submit that it should be lobster and pasta because it... Are you feeding me lobster and pasta? It you feels better. You feed me pasta and lobster? It, see? Lobster and pasta okay. feels better. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> because L comes before P in the alphabet. Judge AK L M N O. Mm-hmm. Just putting it out. Do you feed me pasta and lobster? That you don't feel like that that doesn't roll off the tongue. Do you feed me lobster and pasta? No, that's hard. Maybe feeding me lobster. But and maybe pasta. it's because I know. Say it again. Do you feeding me lobster and pasta? No, say pasta and lobster. Do you feeding me pasta and lobster? <laughs> See. <laughs> Don't y'all think it sound better when you say lobster and pasta? Pasta, lobster, lobster, pasta. Lobster, pasta. What were we singing the other day? We were like, it doesn't rhyme unless you say it like that. What song was that? Oh, We were like, it only rhymes because you say it like that. Dang it. I don't remember. But I do remember that conversation. I don't remember. What'd you say? Fada. Oh, Fada. He's, um, Mace. Was it Mace? Mace. Yeah. Come on over here. I think I see your baby father. <laughs> Call you manana. It's like father does not rhyme with manana. <laughs> Come on over here. I think I see your baby father. <laughs> Call you manana. <clears throat> okay. We're going through some questions some from questions. our chain game. Chain game. We posted questions on Patreon. Y'all asked us questions. So here we go. If you're not on Patreon, <laughs> What is you doing? What is you doing? What is you doing? What um, is you doing? What is you doing? Yeah. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Join Patreon, y'all. We're going to go through some questions and get real, real rep raw. <laughs> <laughs> real raw. Whose knuckles cracked the knuckles? Okay. We did that one. We did that one. When was the moment you knew God was real? Uh, explain what you feel. Old self. It's like, have the questions ready. Hold on, y'all. Be patient. I know you in your car. You at your house. You watching. Just be, give me a it's minute. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, girl. Finding your questions. We find the questions. Oh, my God. What? Is it a bad one? <laughs> do you miss masturbation? Oh, my goodness. Well, do you? No, I don't. I think about it. <clears throat> I'm not tempted to do it. So, that's good. I think, I think that what people don't understand on like why that would be a practice to not do mm -hmm. is because <clears throat> like your body not only is it a temple but it is like you want jesus to be lord over your body mm -hmm. so if he has if he takes his rightful position as lord and you give like you ha give him that place over you then he has 
lordship over your body. Your temple, yeah. So you don't just do things because you feel like you want to do them. Killing your flesh. To, yeah, yep. you have to ask him, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is yours. Mm-hmm. What would you like me to do with this? Mm-hmm. This is my body that is here to be an expression mm-hmm. and used as a vessel for you. So just because I possess this body mm-hmm. and I feel things in this body doesn't mean that I I am um I allow this body to control control me. Yes. My body doesn't control me. I control my yeah, body. Because yeah. I've submitted it to God. To God. Yeah. So that he can have lordship over it. Yeah. So I think that if you think of it for the cause I'm I mean, masturbation is something I've experienced. Mm-hmm. Masturbation is something you experience. <clears throat> it's not like it's it <laughs> should be a so conversation funny. that we shouldn't talk about. People I mean <laughs> masturbate. <laughs> DJ Dougie Fresh. <laughs> For sure. It's like, girl, get up. Manny Fresh. You got stuff to do. The- you missing a whole meeting. Because <laughs> you over here turning tables. Because you over here wanting to be DJ Jazzy Jazz. Girl, you are late to the Zoom. <laughs> yeah, I think if you think of it in that way, if anybody is like struggling with that and you know, like, man, you know. I don't want to. I don't want to be controlled mm-hmm, by that. Mm-hmm. Then um, look at it in that way, like Jesus having lordship over this. Yeah. And if he has lordship over it, then it's like you're not about to go to God and be like, "Can I? Can I? Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Why you, you got a whisper? Is it? <laughs> Ooh, in church when they be praying, I be like, I can <clears throat> hear you. Please be quiet. Oh, you hear Jesus. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Spirit. Holy Spirit. Spirit. <laughs> it's like, stop praying, please. Spirit. Jesus. Oh, my God. That would literally. <laughs> You'd be like, just say it. Say it. Or be, or say go, it. Or be, be quiet. quiet. <laughs> go over there. You can hear your mind. Ooh, distracting me. <laughs> No, or you be focus. praying in church, like thank you, Lord, for this, and then the music comes down, and you gotta come down. Yeah, because you're like, thank la- you, God, for the peace. <laughs> <laughs> now you, <laughs> yeah, I get it. Never mind, y'all could, <laughs> y'all could do that because I do that. Ooh-wee. When that music come down, ooh, it's like ooh. you better hope that you hear it come down because if you praying loud, all you hear is you. Then you don't. Even, then you just loud music come down. You out here like now you praying, girl. Thank Jesus. you for delivering me from masturbation. <laughs> It's hilarious. That's do I miss weird. it? No, I do not. <clears throat> that hasn't been um, difficult for me. Thank glory be to God. Glory. That was a quickie. Not that kind of quickie. And Quick too, to you up. weren't like watching porn. You know Thank what I'm God. saying? I feel like yeah. people, it's probably even a harder struggle to, get, to stop yeah, masturbating to if stop you're watching that. porn all the time. Because that's addicting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And seriously. <laughs> like, woo. Uh, seriously, it can be for sure. Like, you know what I'm saying? You open yourself up to that. It's entertainment. Mm-hmm, you know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it's, and, you know, obviously it's, your body is going to have a response to it. So you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, don't yeah, do that. You don't don't do this. it. Mm-mm. Jesus. Um, let's see. Have you get- I don't know where oh. these questions are. Um, they're in the group chat. Oh, okay. Help me look through them. With Carla? Yeah, Carla mm-hmm. and JNF. Have you guys been able to work through your differences in your friendship? That's a good one. I think we're still working through it. I feel good, though. Like we talked the other day. How do you feel? I feel good. Sorry, I was trying to find the other question. <laughs> um, I feel good. I feel like, uh, you know... I feel like it was or it is necessary, not only as individuals, but what it does for them. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like what this is like a part of our purpose. Yeah. And what it's going to do for you guys is what it's doing for us is important because of what it will do for Mm y'all and god doesn't allow you just to go through stuff just because there's Mm -hmm. always a purpose and a design and everything Mm -hmm. and although this has been individually extremely impactful i know 
and have been able to discern and in through seeking him i understand more clearly the the depths and the severity the of what of it. it is yeah and yeah. um and how he has to shift us and mold us individually yeah for where we're going yeah that's just the ultimate thing no matter how uncomfortable it is you know what yeah. i mean us changing and growing individually which will change us and grow our relationship that's the goal yeah. i mean that's always been my goal to have a healthy relationship with my best friend or yeah. my friend or whatever you know like for our friendship to be healthy mm -hmm. and for us both to grow and be happy in it mm -hmm. and not you know so that's always been the overall goal but yeah. what that leads to yeah as far as this platform and our purpose together yeah because i truly feel like we have a purpose together for like sure. that hasn't changed for, <clears throat> and i you think know. i mean i think that that is evident just in the community that we have yeah you know what i mean and how much has been growing and expanding and you know certain things that we we've been able to accomplish and that we're you know set out to accomplish I think that that's evident in that but I think it's just important to know that like anything that is real has to be tested yeah and anything that comes from God has to be tested and if you say you about it be about it yeah you're saying all these things and God I am this, I am that, I want this, I want that. Well, God is going to test you to apply it. Yeah. God convict me. God uh, speak to me. Well, when he speaks to you, now you have to be obedient, mm -hmm. right? So that's the same example. Okay, God, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. Do it then. Mm -hmm. Practice it. Mm -hmm. I want a healthy relationship. Well, this is how you get there. Mm -hmm. I want a healthy friendship with my best friend. Well, this is how you get mm -hmm. there. I want to be impactful and show people that, Women can have businesses together, work through conflict, da da da, da have healthy relationships, mm -hmm. be best friends, still make money together. Do it. Yep. <laughs> and do it and do it when everything your flesh is hurt. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. doing it when you don't when you don't see it, when mm -hmm. you don't feel it, mm -hmm. when you don't know it, mm -hmm. when you don't you know what I'm saying? Know the like, outcome. When you're mm -hmm. just like you don't what are you going to do in those moments? And like I said last time we potted, like the evidence that God is real to me, I, like I'm seeing more and more mm -hmm. is like, oh, you really are a heart fixer. Like you're a heart fixer. This is a heart, like this is, no, this is a heart thing. Mm -hmm. This don't got nothing to do mm -hmm. with, Anything this is else. a yeah. This is a, a heart, heart, heart thing. Yeah, and the fact that he can really come in and Quick. change your heart in circumstances that would have normally broken your heart. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like he's real, and when you decide to step outside of yourself and fully see God in all of it and be obedient in all ways as much as you can because mm -hmm. you're going to fall mm -hmm, short mm -hmm, you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying you're going to have those moments like i told you there are days where i'm like oh i'm gonna have to work this thing today yeah 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 and there's other yeah. days where i'm like yeah okay i'm doing the yeah, work yeah. but then other days like oh you're gonna okay i'm gonna have to like really tap into the, some work because i'm struggling um but you can just see his hand in it all when he's the only thing that you have left to lean on as a solution you know what I mean? Like when all other options have been, you know, pursued and he's all that you have left to lean on, mm -hmm. then you really start to see his hand move. This situation has showed me truly the meaning of seek ye first the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not focused on our friendship. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm focused on our friendship. Of course, I'm focused on the business, but not first. Yeah, no. I'm not focused yeah. on the the issues or the our brand, mm -hmm. our friendship, my sister. Mm -hmm. my, I'm not focused on the issues. I'm focused on him. Mm -hmm. And all those issues will be answered. Mm -hmm. I'll get my answers through him. Mm -hmm. I'll get my confirmation through him. Mm -hmm. I'll get my, you know, yep. focus on him. Mm -hmm. So this has really showed me, seek ye first the kingdom. Yeah. The closer I get to him, the more I know how to maneuver in our friendship. Mm -hmm. The more clarity I get, mm -hmm. the more, you know, it is still... And I always use the word worried. I'm not worried. Mm -hmm. I don't have anxiety about it. I don't have a worry about it. Because I know seeking him first, everything will be fine. Yeah. But it is still like, 
where is this going to go? Yeah. You know, like, yeah. is it going to be different forever? Yeah. Is it going to be back to how it was, mm-hmm. but better? Mm-hmm. Is it going to be, you know, those yeah. are questions I have, yeah. you know, but just being comfortable in whatever that ends up being in, in a healthy way. Yeah. I want to be comfortable with, okay, this is it. And we have our rhythm. Yeah. Whether it's what, like I said, the ultimate goal for me has always been <clears throat> to have our friendship the way it was in a healthier Health- way. Mm-hmm. That's just, you know, yeah. what it's always been. So that, but finding our rhythm back to that. Yeah. You know what and I we've, mean? And we've been able to, we had a few moments where we were able to practice some things. I think that helps us be better, not only as, um, well, ultimately, you know, help the friendship, but as business partners and just as people in general, yeah. we've been able to have moments where we're like the real communication when it's not comfortable, like having those kind of hard moments but then we come to those points and then we realize like it actually wasn't that hard that bad yeah the hardest part was the courage to to do it to do it yeah but then when you did it it was like yeah oh, it actually wasn't yeah <laughs> that bad yep. and yep. i think a lot of times that we think that it's gonna be like we build this anxiety or this fear, or we've allowed the enemy to I'm make about to us say think. It's a block that the enemy puts yeah. up for like, things oh, no, like this gonna to happen. Yeah. It's going to be bad. It's going to be, you're not yep. going to be able to get through. Yep. It's going to be an argument. Yep. It's going to yep. be a this, it's going to be that. Yep. But then when we actually did it, and we said, okay, listen, no matter how uncomfortable it is, I need you I to tell me, right now. and I need you right, to tell right, me, right. and I, I'm going to tell yeah. you, and we're committed to that. Yeah. And then we did it, and it was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. actually mm-hmm. wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it might have felt uncomfortable for maybe three second. seconds, yeah. but yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. that bad. Yeah. It didn't. I'm I'm not destroyed. It's not She's detriment- not destroyed. Yeah. You know what I'm Detrimental. saying? And being yeah. and because I really do believe that the like the enemy hates unity. Like he doesn't like unity. He doesn't like agreement. And so because you're more powerful. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? If, when when yeah. two come together and see a vision, and whether it's marriage, friendship, what? relationship. God yeah. loves pairing people together. Yeah. We see it throughout the Bible everywhere. Wow. 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 We, he loves pairing people together. Yeah. He loves being like, you got something that they don't and they got something that you yep. don't get together and do something and change crazy. The world. Change yep. the world. Yep. Yep. Right there, he's all you always see these like dynamic relationships. But if he, if the enemy can get you to not agree, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, if he can, mm-hmm. if he can put mm-hmm. a conflict in and get mm-hmm. you to see the conflict mm-hmm. only mm-hmm. and nothing else, mm-hmm. and like that is where he will, that is when you end up aborting something that God birthed in you. Wow, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I and I knew that outside of my love for you as a friend, as a person, outside of that, the the purpose in the the two of us mm-hmm. is wasn't something that I was willing to not put full effort into with to, focusing yeah. on me. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have easily, okay, just give her time. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I can I can fix that. I'm a person that can fix things quick. If you say I don't like this, I'm I can fix it real yeah. quick. I'm not. Yeah. That's not hard to do. But like you said, but that's to, different. But between just changing your behavior, yeah. But to and say changing, okay, yeah. well, why? This was an opportunity to be like, yeah, you can fix that, and that's fine to fix it. But are you aware of why you feel this way? Right. Are you aware of why you feel this or where way? Where that's coming from? And, or yeah, yeah, like. Going and dealing with those type of things. That's good. That was really the more of a, do you know why this bothers you? Mm. Or why have you allowed it to bother you? Mm. Why did you even, why did you allow that to bother you? Or why did you allow it to bother you that long and you didn't say anything? So now because you haven't said anything, Mm -hmm. you're Mm -hmm. building up this Mm -hmm. resentment. Mm -hmm. And it's coming out in this way. Which causes that person to feel, you know what I'm saying? Right, All because right. you felt something, right? And didn't say, you know, whatever. Address the root. You just didn't address it, and so I think that that's, I think that that's where we are right now, where we are at the point where I can, where you, I hopefully you feel like you can say, and I can say, hey, 
this is uncomfortable and I just want to let you know how I feel. Mm -hmm. And it may not even be you. I'm right. just addressing that I feel this. Right now. Right this now. is my true feeling. Yep. And and another yep. thing that we have been doing is is praying when we're together. Like together. That has made I feel like a huge impact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just starting off like if we got to work we know we got to work together all day okay let's and, pray and even just thinking about why hasn't that been a standard from the beginning you know what I mean mm -hmm. like I the feeling and the impact it has now is so powerful mm -hmm. and of course we're praying through a conflict mm -hmm. and, and not just for conflict but just in general mm -hmm. like we know we're gonna make make it through yeah. this the victory is ours but we made it a vow because of this. Like we need to pray together. Mm -hmm. If this is our relationship, mm -hmm. we need to be coming together before God and praying over our relationship. Yeah. Plus tons of other things yeah. that we pray about, but not in a room with everybody, yeah. not like that too, that too, but us yeah. together. We yeah. need to cover each other together yeah. and cover our relationship. Yeah. Why hasn't that been a standard from the beginning? Yeah. And not saying we didn't. We just didn't make it a consistent practice. A consistent practice. practice. Yeah, we didn't make it. And I always think about what uh, Haley said in, when we went to the UK. Um, mm. She was like, y'all need to pray together. Together. She said, because, the, and this was right before everything happened. She was like, the enemy is going to attack you guys, and he wants your friendship. And if y'all don't pray, she was like, you need to make it consistent. That gave me chills. Ha she was mm -hmm. like, you, it, you need to make it consistent as often as you can, pray together. Pray together. And we were like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're like, yeah, we pray together. Yeah, we pray. No. I mean, that if that wasn't a clear, a like, <laughs> warning for God, <laughs> speak to me. As often as, as you, you can, can, pray together. The enemy is, is going coming. to come. He's coming. After your, a clear, a you want clear God to speak to you so bad. And you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A clear instruction. A clear instruction. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. when you get those instructions, you got to. You got to listen. Like you've been praying. Swift obedience. What? You got to be swift. Quick. Swift. Quick with I've it. been practicing that. In the littlest things. What? Little. Me and God got into an argument in my kitchen last night. <laughs> About what? Because he told me to go do something minor. Because mm -hmm. he does that to me mm -hmm, just to mm -hmm. make sure I'm ob obedient. He'd be yeah. like, go, actually, go turn that pillow this mm -hmm. way. Just little, little stuff like that that may seem so insignificant. So I'm juicing, mm -hmm. You're which like, I, I forgot. Need to, yeah. <laughs> I'm juicing Two hours last of juicing, night. still at the house. And um, I did something to the fridge. And he was like, go fix that. And I was like, it's not that serious. Is it? Literally, yep. I'm like, it's not. It was like, go fix it. And I was like, I'm going to fix it here. here. Yep. Yep. And I went and did it. Yep. And I'm like, I'm fixing it. And I was like, this is like we were just I felt like I was having this yep. back and forth with God because yep. I'm like, this is so annoying. Yeah. Yep. Like, you know, I'm going to do yep. it. He's like, do I? Do it now. Do it. Do it now. The only way that he has his confidence in us is when we do it. Yeah. Yeah. Not, oh, I was going to. Or, oh, I will. Oh, I will. Oh, my goodness. It's like, do it, do it now. now. Do it now. Do it now. Yeah. Don't and be. And that's birthing something in you for something way bigger. Because when he has contracts laid in front of us. What? And he says no. And he says no. Woo! That gave me chills. 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 I, he's like, I got to. And I gotta what? train your I need to, ear. If he does, if I don't hear him saying no, I need to be able to trust you that Come I can on. walk away with you, Megan. Come on, I need to be Come able to trust on. you that I can walk away with and you. That's and my what, friend that's what I'm has a relationship yes. with God that and we she's cannot, not offended because I said no. Holy Spirit told me we ain't supposed to do that. We can't do that right now. But because, we, but because we are doing this work, yeah. and we can see the evidence yeah. of that, yeah, I have confidence enough that if I Thank say you, Jesus. AOB, yep. the Holy Spirit is really checking me on this. I yep. really don't think we should do this. Yep. I trust because yep. you have been doing yep. that. Something in you probably, yeah. that was confirmation because something in you, the Holy Spirit poked something in you was like, maybe not. And we, and you know what I'm saying? And that was yeah. whatever. Yeah. I know that yeah. because you're doing that and I'm doing that, ain't nothing going to be missed. Yeah. And if this season, this season was it's for a lot of things, but that's that? preparing us for that. Yeah. No, I don't need nope. I yeah, I understand it's a hundred million dollars. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No. 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 And guess what? I am okay with walking away. <laughs> if that is what God has called us to walk what? away from, 
If that is the true answer, if the Holy Spirit truly said that after all this, what you think I'm gonna go backwards, go back to bondage? Because people don't understand. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. It's not. Oh we my didn't, God. When, when you lose things, right, you lose things, right? But when you come to a place of like where God really breaks you of some stuff, mm -hmm. that is not a feeling that you ever want to return to. I will never to. go back there, ever. That breaking ever. where he is like, no, I'm going to strip you raw and expose you and let you really see all the things that you have tried to bury and hide. Yeah, no, we're going to fix ooh, those ooh, things ooh. now. That feeling does ooh. not feel good. And I can assure you, just be obedient. Just be obedient. It's better just do than it. to go yep. through. And, and if we are going Thank through this you, so Lord. that y'all don't ever have to go through it, then praise then so God. Then so be it. Then praise God. that's a God. part of the purpose. Then praise God. And that's God. everything we prayed for. Then praise <laughs> God. We want to show black women this. We want to show black women that. We, we want to show women how they can work. All the things that we said that's going to be in our book. And be, God's like, bet, do it. Do it. Do it. If it's possible, do it. Show, show him that it works. Show him show, that it show, works. Show him that I'm Thank real. Thank you, Jesus. And the only way to know that he's real is that he works through our lives. How are you going to say, use me, but just don't use me in don't that area? Don't use me in that way. God, use me, but don't make me uncomfortable. Just like Miles <laughs> Monroe said, if I show you the vision, I can't show I you can't. the plan. God, God said, if we knew. You can't show the pit. God couldn't show Joseph that he was going to be no, in prison. Start no podcast, and we gonna get into it. I would have happily. That's fine. We don't have to do no. a podcast. We could just be friends. If we gonna, you know what I mean. If but, that, if, if if it was, if he showed us all of that, yeah, no. But the understanding, the purpose of it, yeah, you know. But even though, even though I didn't see all of it. I mean, we knew. We knew. We knew. I said it. We knew. On the balcony yeah. in New York. We knew. We've said it numerous random times. Like, all right. We knew. We didn't know what it was going to look like, but we knew we were going to be attacked. We knew. We knew that. Yeah. And after we make it through this, the attacks aren't going to stop. Oh. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. And I'm not necessarily saying it on our friendship, but I'm just yeah. saying in general. Just in general. In general, on this platform, us individually. Yeah. I mean. But I think that that's why this was so important to establish now. Head on early. Yeah. You know, I even though we've been doing this podcast for over a year, we're yeah. still new into this thing. Especially in the podcast. We're starting a business. Yeah, we're still very we're babies. new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but to, for God to do such a swift work yeah, now, yeah. I believe is because of what's getting ready to be. And mm -hmm. we had to be prepared for it in a real way. Not, yeah. not oh, we know, we know, we know. Mm -hmm. No, you need to experience oh so God. you actually have a muscle memory. So when stuff comes, you actually know how to fight spiritually. You actually know how to decree and declare things. You actually know how to listen to your what? body. You know. That this don't, I don't feel right. Yeah. This doesn't feel good. This don't, let me speak. Let me speak up. Yeah. If you can do that in a relationship, you can do that at a table with yep. freaking 30 CEOs. Yep. This don't feel right to yep. me. And, and, and really establishing where you're attention heart and obedience belongs yeah and having that true like reverential fear like i don't care to please anybody nobody anybody if if it compromises me pleasing him yeah i want everyone to be i i love to serve people i want people to be happy yeah. feel good yeah. all those things i don't want to hurt anybody's yeah. feelings it breaks me it i i i was that kid that if you told me you were disappointed in me, that was a thing to tear me. That was I worse mean, than a whooping. What? Yeah. That breaks my heart. So I don't like to disappoint people. I don't like to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't want anyone to feel bad. I like cre curating a nice vibe and friend fun and whatever. But getting to the point where it's like I'm not. It's not so much like I don't care about making anybody happy. It's more of like I have to stay so close and right with him because I don't want to disappoint him. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. don't want to be disobedient. Mm -hmm. I know the severity of what the lack of obedience will cause. Yeah. And I don't ever want to do I that. Can never do that. So I need to be <laughs> obedient yeah. and as close to, to whatever him. he's doing as possible. As possible. As possible. And all the time. Am I going to fall short? Yeah, yeah. we all do. We all do. We're going to fall short. That I'm not going to be perfect. And mm -hmm. I don't expect you to be perfect. Mm -hmm. I don't expect mm -hmm. anybody mm -hmm. to be 
anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but obedience, um, obviously prayer, like relationship with God, and then practicing vulnerability, I think has been like a big thing for me mm -hmm. to help me mm -hmm. to be vulnerable enough to be like, yeah, I actually didn't feel the best or yeah. that actually hurt my feelings or, you know, just to be honest about that. Yeah, up front. Yeah. That's good. It's a big, a big thing. Good. But yeah, I mean, we doing it. We Gucci. Oh, it's going to be fine. I have to I'm pee like, so bad. If you can literally show up week after week and record a podcast, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. But what? That's, no. What? <laughs> Like, I mean, I, I gotta say, I'll, I'll say it more vaguely, but nothing. But <laughs> what are you I'm gonna? just saying this from day one of our conflict. Not that we felt like, well, I, I did. I'll speak for me. Mm. I felt like we owed it to our audience to be honest. Oh, for sure. Because this platform is built on, even if it wasn't, it's like that's weird. That's to weird. Me. For yeah. us to get on this mic and be yeah. geeky gaga and behind closed doors, we have a huge conflict yeah. that we're maneuvering through. Yeah. No, that's weird. Yeah. And I felt obligated to share that with our platform. Mm -hmm. If we weren't doing that, I'm like, people can get on the mic and act like everything's cool, but this will never be that. Mm -hmm. And we can share with y'all. We can let y'all know a little bit of it. Y'all don't even know, you know, we what we don't want to share. Y'all yeah, y'all know what we decide to share. Yeah, y'all know but, what you need to know. <laughs> yes, but we wanted to honor the audience enough to be like, this is what we're going through. And just like the beginning, y'all have seen our journey from the beginning, mm -hmm. from episode one. If y'all go back to episode one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it's totally different than who we are now. Y'all mm -hmm. have seen a total transition on our journey. So mm -hmm. just saying that, you're like, if we getting on this podcast and do, I said that because People do that. For sure. You're like, if we're getting on this podcast, then no, people do that. Well, for I'm us. Yeah, for us, yeah, we, for us, I, we would not. Be, we it would wouldn't never work. Be I, I guess be, I'm saying yeah. the fact that we are showing up Choosing week after to show week up. shows you that, A, we're being obedient to what God to called, what God us, to called us to do. And the the chemistry that you see with me and B is real. Mm -hmm. Like even mm -hmm. on days where we have not talked, like yeah. potted on days where I have not talked. This is the first time I've seen you talk to you yeah. in however many days. But that synergy is still there because mm -hmm. I really do believe what God brings together can nobody like nothing can tear that apart 100%. when God brings it when together. God brings it and together. I really do believe God brought us together. Now the the uh, totality of yeah. what that looks like yeah. we only god knows fully what that looks like but that synergy that's there i think it, i know is because 100%. that's because he brought us 100%. together so it ain't and too you can really tell the heart posture because we're able to still laugh and joke and still be us even though there has mm -hmm. been a mm -hmm. conflict mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so I said 100%. all that to say that there are some people that can fake it. And if they, that's weird. That's, y'all, that will never be no for sure. And y'all know I can't fake. <laughs> now, look, you look at the episodes. You know I can't fake. I have been attitudinal. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I ain't is like, I'm, I'm taking accountability. No, yeah, 100%. Moody, yeah. I'm moody. And I've been moody my whole life since I probably I was a toddler. And then it's breaking off. Yeah. I mean, because it's just like. Energy wasted for yeah, what? Yeah. Just shake it off and move on. And I'm not trying to be outside of this grace. <laughs> okay. Grace. I don't the pastor be said of that. I went to Bible study. He said, Grace is like you speed in 90 in a school zone. You get pulled over. Wait, is that mercy? Mercy is you speed in 90 in a school zone. You get pulled over. And he's like, Okay, ID registration. You could go. Grace is you speeding 90 in a school zone. You get pulled over. He's like, okay, license registration. You can go. But wait, I'm going to give you $1,000 just because, you know, you need that. You need to have a good day, blah, blah, blah. Like, mm. I want grace. Grace. Mm -hmm. Mercy, too. Give mm -hmm. me the mercy now. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be outside of his grace. Never. Grace. And it's his. his giving his, you what you don't deserve. What? Thank you, God. And I needed to follow me. Everywhere I go. I mean, everywhere. <laughs>
please be on my neck be on me because Ooh. i need it and and the, and and the other the other thing that cuz i was so afraid of making a mistake i think in throughout this conflict mm -hmm. i've been so afraid to you know me i'm super analytical i think about everything too deeply about things that instead of just being instead of just being i am very like yeah. aware of everything yeah. and cautious of everything and don't ever want to be you know i never i just want to be aware of what i'm doing so i'm not just frivolously doing stuff mm -hmm, and not mm -hmm, you know what i mm -hmm. mean not thinking about the mm -hmm. implications of certain actions and you know i just want to be aware but i was so there were moments where especially in the beginning mm. where i was so afraid to mess up mess up or do or you know you've seen that um real where it was like i gotta practice because i haven't been outside it's like hey okay that oh yeah no for fake. sure for sure like that for sure 100 percent. it was that thing 100%. like 100 percent. i did never want to you know but because of how i am i feel like sometimes it's hard to be because i feel like sometimes in being it could be perceived as something else mm -hmm. in my head or what i think mm -hmm, i'm just mm -hmm, being it mm -hmm. could be perceived as something else so i'm always like i was being super 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 like oh god and i'm what if i make a mistake and god was just like megan you're going to make mistakes yeah you're going you're not going to yeah. be perfect yeah but because if you, in something that john brevere was talking about he, he said he struggled with the same thing and god was like your your purity in your intent, I'll cover that. Yeah. So even if you do yeah, make yeah, a mistake, yeah, yeah, yeah. because you were pure yeah. in the intent, your intent, I'll cover yeah. it. And you don't it's have okay. to worry yeah. about that. Yeah. You're human. You're going to mess yeah. up. Yep. You're yep. going to mess up. Yep. You might not be aware. You might mess up. You yep. might say the wrong thing. You, you might, might have a bad day. You yeah, might, you might yeah, have yeah. a bad day. Yeah. Like, that's okay. Yeah. And my grace is just as sufficient mm -hmm. for you mm -hmm. as it is for everybody mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. And as long as you're moving in purity. Intent. Yeah. As long as your yeah. heart is in the You're right allowing spot. me to mold that. Yeah. yeah. Focus on. I'll yeah. cover that. Yep. I'll cover those wrong. Maybe the wrong decision. Maybe you should have yep. went right and you went left. Yeah. Yeah. But because you genuinely had a pure heart to maybe do, you thought god said go right 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 you know what i'm saying right. like but it's like i'll cover that yeah so just not moving i feel like recently probably within the last couple few weeks i have felt more free to free just be, to be and to know that because i'm doing the work behind closed doors i don't have to work so hard in moments 100 percent. i can just be i feel like that too and that has been free. Show up with who God called me to be. Yeah. What am I in God's eyes? Yeah. Show up as that who he called Braylon Greenfield to be. Yeah. And like you said, he will cover the rest. Yeah. 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 But I'm proud of the work. I'm proud of the work that you're doing. I see the work that you're doing. I'm proud of, you know, your commitment, mm -hmm. your discipline, um, not even being afraid to do things that maybe don't look like logical from the outside or understand mm, or like mm. oh i understand you're just being committed to whatever god is calling you to do mm -hmm. which is super admirable and um i can see it like mm -hmm. i can see you doing the work i feel the same about so, you i feel this shit. Proud of it. i feel us yeah i feel it yeah it's coming it's fine it's here <laughs> freedom it's is fine. upon us it's fine. No, it is. Yeah, I'm proud of you too. I'm proud. I'm proud of all of us. I'm proud of this podcast. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of mm -hmm. our audience. Mm -hmm. Our audience. I mean, our our um, supporters. You. They have thank not been you. divisive. Yeah, yeah. They haven't been. Yeah. Messy. Yeah, yeah. You know, and people are messy. Yep. Thank you for supporting us. Praying this, for us. And thank you for. Not, not even through this, this too, but mm. just in general, the platform in general. Sure. We have some writers out there. Like, y'all have made this move quicker than we could have ever fathomed. Mm -hmm. Like, the mm -hmm. community we have built is just... It's insane. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. And I could feel their prayers, especially during this time. I could feel... Yeah. We're that, covered. like, mm -hmm. lifting. Mm -hmm. Like, no, 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 no. You're fine. Y'all are yep. fine. You're we fine. got you. You're fine. We'll just, ho we'll hold it. We'll let y'all rest. <laughs> Pray for us, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And Pray they for have. Us. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah. I really, 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 really believe that. Yeah. And I just know that, like, this type of work 
<laughs> Y'all better watch out. Our book is going to be the New York Times best. We're going to be up there with the Bible. <laughs> Bible. John, John Bevere. It, no, for sure. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, like, sure. there's so much. And I haven't even been journaling lately. I really, really need to because those are the pages of our truth that are going to be in I'm that so book. You know? to, I'm traumatized. Traumatized. Oh, I am traumatized. I I've dr- I've written one page one thing on my on, on my iPad. Yeah, no, you I'm have to write. I know, Megan. I know, but it's just you like, know I got to recover. Here's what you could do: write and take pictures of it. Yeah, I could. So you have it digitally, yes, but still, <laughs> <laughs> it'll be in the cloud and be on no page. for sure. I have the on my iPad. I have that pen. Oh yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. a literal oh, okay, okay, notepad, okay. but it's just not the it's same. Not the same. So I just been, you Please know, I know I need it. to, I need to, yeah, I need to. But we love y'all. Speaking of community, we're going to announce our retreat soon. Oh, I was like, what? I know you're like, I was like, what? Com- yes, our retreat is coming. I'm mm-hmm. really excited. That's about gonna that. be because so it's gonna be like cool. a vacation, but it's not. But so it is cool. with y'all. We're only taking about sixty to a hundred people. So if you're not on Patreon, you most you're not gonna you're not gonna make it. Make it. Um, we're announcing it on Patreon first. Um, only and, taking a hundred people, a hundred people to Mexico the day people. after the second annual live show here in Atlanta, Georgia. Yep. I can't wait. That's going to be so fun. <laughs> oh my God. We're going to be talking about, we don't answer questions. We answer two questions for sure. <laughs> You're going to be tired. Trained. Talk about get a yacht. Get it. Okay. What? I'm going to be on that yacht. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You want to vibe so bad. You want to vibe you so get bad. Sick. We did good last time. We did time. great in Miami. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're going to be turn up to my TZ. To our version of it. Yeah. Yeah. Forgive him. Two, yeah. Part two. Forgive him. Part two. Coming out soon. Don't worry Feature about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. It's coming out soon. Ooh. Yeah. What I'm going to say. I don't know. <laughs> Boaz. But for sure. Boaz. For sure. I'm going to talk about How do we make that cool? We'll figure it out. All right. Got Song it. of Solomon. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scripture I need to be in. Song of Solomon. Song of Solomon. Song. Are you ready to date date for real? I don't know. <laughs> I know. I said, I'm like. I want to, but it's like, I, I want to keep practicing. I like the practicing dating I'm doing. Mm. I like going out, practicing being more feminine, practicing being like. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. We need to go to the mall. Racking them up. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be there like I'm no, just no, everybody's married. <laughs> no, seriously. No, there's gonna be there needs to be single men. I'm gonna pray. ask him. There needs to be single bachelors there. Ready to mingle. Ready to single love mingle. God and me. For sure. Um, okay. We love y'all. What do you know Tension for sure? What do you say no light. to for sure? Is it bright? Yeah. This all hat the time. is blocking. Mm-hmm. Ooh, don't look in I, it. I, every time I do. See just now. I just looked in it. Every time. Bad. Why would I do that? Jesus. Every time. I got some shades. Ooh, we. <laughs> when we did the photo shoot uh-huh. for the merch, uh-huh. did you see that light that was flickering? The fluorescent light? Yeah. In it, the video? When we well, no, it was just flickering while we were having the meeting. It was flickering the whole time. Oh, but when no, we were in that it. meeting Mm-mm. with our agent, I was like, I'm going to have a brain aneurysm. <laughs> I didn't this see is insane. It. it was just like Oh, I and I already it. had a migraine, so that flashing yeah, fluorescent light. Yep. Oh my god! Yeah. Well, don't look in that. Well, I can't help well, it. I just me. looked again. I did too. When I said, "Don't look in that," <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> don't look in that. Sorry, that's why I haven't been turning towards the camera, y'all, because I can't see. I am. I'm locked in. Yeah. If we locked in, ain't no switching up. We want to be relevant so bad. So bad we are. Easy be. What do you know for sure? What do you say no to? Because I'm trying not to. No, no. Out. What do I know for sure? I know for sure that everything we already talked about, God is doing a work in us. Mm. I love you. I'm proud of us. Mm. And victory is already ours. I step on the devil's head every morning. I know you do. I, <laughs> I see you in my brain yeah. doing it. I step it I, on it. I believe. I actually and believe. I say it. I know you do. <laughs> I, and it's, it's all fun and games now, but baby, when he starts setting us free, okay, you gonna know. I be on him. I ooh, yeah, yeah. I know that. I know 
that this relationship is going to be better than ever. I can't wait. We're doing the work. <laughs> I can't I can't wait. I can't wait. I know that for sure. And I'm proud of you. Proud of I you. see the shift. I see the change. And I love you. Amen. I love you too. But I'm saying no to for sure. I'm saying no to not seeking ye first the kingdom. For sure. That's literally sure. it. I'm, I'm telling y'all. Like, and that has been my advice and... I don't even say advice, but my help to people, even in my DMs mm-hmm. lately and this and my, my boyfriend, this, my boyfriend, that, my kids, this, my husband, this. God. God. You so focused on the marriage, focus on, focus on, uh, those are things that need to be focused on. Don't get me wrong, but they're all under this umbrella. Focus on God. Mm-hmm. Especially if you feel Wait, chaos. Yeah, chaos. If you feel chaotic and yeah. you don't know what to yep, do or yep, this and that, yep. that means that there's a focus off. Yeah. Your focus is off. Focus on you your gotta relationship focus. with him. Yes. It got to be that. Because so through never that, everything will work out. Everything. That's it. Everything will work out. The closer you get to him, the easier it is for you to maneuver with the Holy Spirit. For sure. So, yeah, I'm saying no to not seeking ye first the kingdom. <laughs> That's my thing. Is it? I'm no to not. No to not. <laughs> um, I'm what I know for sure is is that God got us like this is we're good mm-hmm. we're fine yeah God got us yep. and He is um I think he I I know that He will honor the obedience a hundred percent tenfold There's all no the way around choice. personally he professionally yeah yep. He honors obedience yeah and it thank you Lord grasps His attention yep. and He moves when we're obedient yeah. So um, I know that for sure. What I'm saying no to for sure is ever returning back to that to that place. I'm never going back never. to that ever. Or There's that in nothing the name of that Jesus. could ever There's get me nothing. to go back to that. Nothing. There's not even a dollar amount that could ever get me to return to the the mindset or the way that I thought before Ooh, in certain good. ways like there's nothing never. that will ever I will never go back to that never nothing never. <laughs> nothing are you crazy nothing not, nothing. A ting. not a not a ting, ting. man oh this is good love you we love you bye guys i'm b simone megan ashley we'll see you guys next see time see you next week join our patreon go to patreon i was just about to say that join retreat us. coming soon we going to mexico and if you're not on patreon you're not going bye bye Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Know For Sure podcast. Make sure you keep the conversation going and use our hashtag KnowForSurePod. Yes, we want to see you guys share the hashtag KnowForSurePod on all social media platforms. We want to keep the conversation going. And follow us on all social media platforms, Instagram and Twitter, KnowForSurePod.